This is how you can capture the sun at home without damaging your equipment. And this is called solar imaging. Never do this without the proper filters. First, you must have something to get a close view of the sun, like a super zoom lens or a telescope with a 700mm focal length. And you can use whatever camera you have. Now, solar imaging consists of white light imaging and narrowband imaging. White light imaging is the cheapest and easiest since it only puts a solar filter in front of your gear to block most incoming sunlight. Many solar filters are available, like the battery solar filter I use. I will leave a link in the description if you want to buy one. On the other hand, narrowband imaging is more expensive, more demanding, and uses filters that allow specific wavelengths of light to pass through while blocking the rest. Narrowband filters include hydrogen alpha filters and calcium potassium filters. You can get more detail on the sun this way than white light. I will leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about solar astrophotography.